Hey there, this is Tanya, and I am going to record a video on how to create an email for your customers. So what you do is, um, first of all, before I tell you the, the very basics, I want to go and copy the link where I want the customers to order. You don't need to do this, um, but I want them specifically to order on an event I have in my back office. So here's events. And I want them to order on the So Grateful Customer Appreciation event. So to get the link where I want them to order, I hit that and then I hit details. And here's the party shopping link. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. Right click, hit copy. All right, so I have that copied. I'm going to be pasting it in a while to my newsletter. So let's go back to, there's your home. Let's go to order, then you go up here to contacts, and then go down here to this little um, email to contacts envelope, click that, and here's where I'm going to write my email to my customers. So I want to check this box because I want a copy of this email sent to my email address, and my subject is, did you know? Laundry is on sale in August. Put um, Tanya H O at home independent advisor. You can put whatever you want, but um, I think I'm going to just do that, make it shorter. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want a header, like the top of my email. So see this little thing where it says insert image? And I'm going to hit all properties. And I'm going to put choose an image. And email headers. Oh, email headers. Click right there. And there's all sorts of ones that you can use. I'm going to use the one with laundry. So you click insert. Okay, and there. There's my email header. Let's see. You can change to where it is. Um, let me type your content here. So isn't that kind of nice? Um, I'm going to bring it back over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some columns, and this will make sense in a minute. So see where it says insert a table, and now there's table wizard. Whoops, I want to insert two columns wide by three short, or three, why is it doing it? Hmm. Here we go. Table properties. I want. There's all these options. I just want the basics. So columns. I want two. And rows are the ones down. I want three. And you can do all sorts of fancy things. But I don't know how to work those. So what I'm going to do now is just put. Okay, so here I have some columns. Two across, three down. This is going to make sense in a minute. So the first thing I want to communicate is the sale. And I happen to know there's a laundry picture. So I'm going to go to back to this insert image, get all properties, and click here. And I want August specials. And see this little laundry in here? I'm going to insert that into my table. See? Right there. And I'm going to, I'm going to um, put some text here. So this needs to get wider, and it will. So you can push it over by 
hitting the space bar. This takes a little bit of getting used to, and I'm still getting used to it, as you can tell. And I have, I made a little Word document thingy. Oops. Actually, before I show you that, I'm going to insert that link of where to order. So remember how I copied that link earlier? Let's see, there's, there's, I'm going to put it right here in this third column. So I want them to be able to click to order on that event. So see right here it says hyperlink manager. Click on that. The link text, I'm going to right click and put paste. That's the very first thing I, whoops, I did it in the wrong spot. So I'm going to do it right here where the URL is. I'm going to put paste. And then here I'm going to say click here to order. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make that bigger and change that later. But see, if they click on the newsletter, it will bring them to that event I want them to order on. All right, so I want a little bit of text in this call, uh, row and column. So I'm going to go over here. I have a Word document. <clears throat> Let's bring this back over. That I made. And you can do this right in the email editor, but I find it a little more hard. So I just did one on Word. So I'm going to right click, put copy. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put paste. Oh, on here, to paste something, you have to do control V. Okay. You see how that brought that all in? Um, and I'll play with how that looks later. And then I want to show them the gift with purchase. So in this little area, I want to insert a picture. I'm going to go back to the image. Sorry about the noise. Someone just left. Hit all properties. Hit here. August specials. And I know there is this new image with our heavy duty twilight chip in it. So I'm going to insert and put that. So see how that's kind of looking kind of cute. I wonder if I can move this over a little. Let's do this. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to put here. I might just leave it blank because it gets tricky. And in here I'm going to insert um, gift with purchase. Oh, I need $100 with $100 purchase. Purchase. Let's go to that H. Oops, not everything. Heavy duty chiffon net in our new color. Twilight. All right. So I want this to be a little bigger. So I'll go up here and I want these. I think I'll do this in all caps. New colors. I better put twilight. Spell that wrong. Let's try that again. Twilight. That's right. And I think I want this all. Let's see what it looks like here. No. No, I think I'll keep that there. Let's see if I... nope, we're gonna keep it like that. Um, just making this simple. So here's the info they about the products. Here's the info about the gift with purchase, and I want to show them the catalog as well. So I'm going to put a picture in here. See how I put a photo here, photo here, a photo here, kind of alternating. 
It's just a preference of mine. So I'm going to go back to here. This is the last image I'm going to put. Click there. Click this little image manager. I'm going to go to August Specials. And look at, oh, that's a nice one too. I might put that in. August Specials Header. Hmm. I might switch that out. We'll see. Insert. OK. Did it add it? See? Look at that. Isn't that cool? Click here to order. And then I want to put in here. Oops. Click. Well. Here to oh, messed up. Order. Ah, okay, so see, messed up. It happens all the time. I'm going to purchase how would I put in here? I'm gonna do something different. Browse our new catalog. here and click to order here and then I want this to be a link so I want the new catalog link here so oops let's get out of there for a minute I need to go get that so I happen to have this up here here's my catalog Link. I'm going to right click, copy, and go back to email your customers. And I want to make this link here um, with this hyperlink. I'm going to link catalog, right click, paste, and I'm going to put here. Okay, so now when they click browser new catalog here and then click to order. So now I need to go back and get that um, link. And I don't want to get out of here and go to it this way because then I'll lose all this. So here's an idea. So here's my catalog. I'm going to go to my parties. You can do it this way. And I'm going to go in here. I want them to go to shop. Shop now. I want to make it easy. I also want them to see the August specials when they first go to this site because that's what this email is about. So if I highlight that, right click, copy. Now I'm going to go back to this email and go to here. Put that, I copied that address into the URL. And then I put, um, I'm going to put here, to order here, here, okay, oh, another here. I want to put August, or click, click here to order, and see August specials. I'm going to make it a long URL thing. Okay, so then I can get rid of this. All right, so browse our new catalog here. Click to order and see all the specials here. And I, I think I want to make this a little bigger. Well, let me do that. Nope. Well, I'll show you one at a time. Let's see. Nope, I can't make this bigger, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so, so far we have the header, we have the specials, and it tells $5 off products. We have that, and then the last thing I want to do is have a, like a footer. Like, so, I'm going to go, we're almost done here. 
I want to insert an image because I already saw one I wanted. I was looking at this before. Hit all properties. Hit image manager. Um, do email signature. And look at these choices. I like that one. There's this one. There's this one. That one's cool too. I love common nerds. So I'm going to put insert. Hit OK. And let's see what that looks like. Isn't that cool? Oh, I wish I would have added a table right here. I wonder if I can do that. I am trying something new. Okay, one by one. Don't let me do it. Nope. Oops. See, I made a mistake here. So I am going to go to the table wizard again. And I decided I want to add a column. Nope, I don't want to add a column. I want to add a row. So I thought, okay. Oh, it put a whole new table in here. I am learning. Do, 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 do. I think I don't want that, so let's delete it. Oh, I know what. See this little undo? Go undo, undo, and I think I'm just going to make this simple. See, what I want to do is just be able to type right here. And I can't type right here unless I put a column, which is annoying. So let's do undo, undo, undo. Okay, so let's add a little table. I want it one by one. Let's do table wizard one like I want. One column and one row. Nope. That's what I want. Writing and the signature. Alright, so let's add that. Oops, I should show you this. Okay, and there is that table. And I want to add that little cute hummingbird right here. So I'm going to click there. Almost done. Click the properties, image manager, email signature, a little cute one. And I'm going to say. Type right here. Yeah. Let me type right. I hope so. Oh, I'll say thank you for being wonderful customers. Please. Hmm. That isn't working like I wanted it to. Hmm. Oh, I know. Oh, I know what. All right. So see how I'm learning as I go? I half the time don't know really what I'm doing, but I just keep trying to get it. Here's what I want to write. Thank you for being amazing customers. Please don't hate to contact me at 096-2422. And I don't want this little dash. And what I want this to match is this. I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it over some that cool. Please don't hesitate to contact me at 509. Um, I want to make that in the middle. I want to make it look at these different things. I want to make it bigger because I mean it. So there. That isn't a perfect newsletter. Oh, I want to sign it. 
funny. That's too big. No, I want that big because I wish I could make that big. But you know what? I have things to do, and this will get the idea across. Um, can I type this? Here? Just trying to. Well, I'm just going to leave it because I, like I said, I have things to do, and they'll be able to look at this. Think, oh, gift of purchase. Browse a new catalog, click here to order, and that is that. So then all I'm going to do is hit right here, send email, and that is how it works. So now 354 people have gotten that email. Thank you for being patient with me, and that is how I sent a customer email this morning. Take care. Bye.